If you have a multimedia streaming device similar to this one, which is an Android TV stick, and the only connection that it has is an HDMI output, then we are so limited. We can't connect it to our favorite soundbar or sound system, unless we have something like this, which is an HDMI extractor. And it's a solution not only for this kind of device, but for many other streaming devices that don't have the means or way to connect to our sound systems or sound bars. My name is Robert to George, welcome back to the Oris YouTube channel and today with a really simple solution that will allow us to connect our only HDMI output device which is the case of this Android TV stick and on the other side we will be able to output the HDMI signal to our TV with eARC or ARC or not and optionally also the audio output via HDMI to a soundbar or sound system that has HDMI audio input. Simple as this. So we just need to connect my device on this end and then the other two cables, one to the TV and one to our sound system. Simple as this, but let's check it out. This is an HDMI stick that only has one HDMI output, as we know, so we can connect to our TV, but we will be limited to the sound that the stick can transmit via HDMI. So if I want to connect to my soundbar or to my other sound system, I will not be able to, unless I use this Ore HDMI eARC extractor, which will be able to extract the image, full image quality with all the formats available and also the audio. So at this moment, if I go to my soundbar right over here and if I press the plus to increase the volume, studies baseball statistics we will see that we are extracting the audio arrows, to this soundbar arrows, and extracting the Wait, image to the tv so if i change channel here. right now it will go and extract the audio of whatever limited. source i'm using and in this particular case a very limited device with only hdmi connection but we will be able to extract the audio and in this particular case use a soundbar now it will support 4k at 60 hertz it has 18 gigabits of video bandwidth it supports hdr10 and dolby vision pass through and it supports a lot of image and audio formats but you can check down below in the video description more details details about it. In terms of connectivity, it's really simple as this. All I did was to connect my device, which only has one HDMI output, but we can use any other device that we want if we don't have the means to extract the audio to our sound system. In this particular case, really limited, as I said. And then on the other side, we will have two HDMI outputs. One will bring the TV signal with eARC to this TV at this moment, or your TV, of course, and the other will bring the audio, which is capable of extracting, and then we can insert the audio via HDMI to any device. In this particular case, we are using this soundbar, but I could use any sound system that accepts audio via the HDMI ports. Of course, we can do a different connection here. If I do have an eARC TV, for example, I can just plug in a cable from here to my TV and then from my TV there will be an HDMI cable that will bring audio to the soundbar. That's another way that we can get around this problem. But right over here with this HDMI eARC extractor, we will have the way and means to solve the issue in several ways. And this is just an example on how we can use it really simple we could turn a device that only has one hdmi to a device that will be able to share image full quality right over here and audio full fidelity right over here just ramp up the audio right over here on the soundbar so the soundbar is transmitting the sound and if i press right over here and just change the channel there we go the audio is being extracted and now I can lower the volume so that I can speak better and this is a really awesome setup. I'm not limited to the TV stick anymore. I do have a device that will help me to have the image the way that I want and the sound exactly the way that I want. So it doesn't matter if it's an Android TV stick or any other device that doesn't have a 
proper audio output to our sound system, this might be the solution. We have seen quite a few audio extractors. In this particular case, we will extract via the HDMI. But if your sound system is different, if it requires a 3.5 millimeter jack, or if it requires optical output, probably this is not the best option for you. But I will leave some links down below. And on the Ori's website, you will find a lot of options covering every single need that we have. In this particular case, we wanted a solution for this particular device and to extract the audio via HDMI. But if your situation is different, then the solution might be different, but it's there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so just right over there next to the thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.